A couple of weeks ago, I wrote a post on the Brooklyn Cruiser blog expressing my hope and my excitement about the miles and miles of protected bicycle lanes being built on the streets of New York City. And in that time, I've noticed something that kind of qualifies my hope and my excitement. What I'm talking about is a special breed of New York pedestrian who seems to think that the bicycle lane is essentially an expansion of the sidewalk. To illustrate this, yesterday I went over to 8th Avenue and shot some video during the evening rush hour after work, observing the pedestrians going toward the city's drain catch, otherwise known as the Port Authority bus terminal. Check it out. I know, I know, there are some glaringly obvious things to address with this video here. First and foremost, the citywide ban on large sodas, it's probably a good idea. Secondly, you'll notice that the foot traffic taking up space in the bicycle lane tends to force bicyclists into car traffic, thus putting them in harm's way and pretty much defeating the entire purpose of the bicycle lane altogether. Now a quick solution would be to drive up the 8th Avenue bicycle lane during the evening rush hour in a truck with a snowplow mounted on it going about 60 miles an hour, but that would be a little extreme. No. I have a better solution for the mayor and for the New York City Department of Transportation Commissioner Jeanette Sadek Khan, and that is this. Make all foot and car traffic in New York City bicycle lanes illegal, a ticketable offense with a nice juicy fine attached to it. And don't just announce the law and post signs cosmetically advertising the law, like that no honk in your horn law that everybody blows off, including NYPD traffic cops. No, no. Actually enforce this one. And if you put me in charge of enforcing it, I can pretty much guarantee that I'll have New York City in a fiscal surplus by Christmas. <laughs>